As New Yorkers brace for the shutdown of the L train, reconstruction has already begun, and this video shot on Monday gives you a glimpse at what commuters are already having to deal with. Officials and entrepreneurs are touting various workarounds for the worried commuters. Increased service on other Brooklyn to Manhattan subway lines, East River ferry lines, extra buses, a gondola, even a temporary pontoon bridge. Now another proposal, electric scooters. New York City Council member Antonio Reynoso is drafting legislation to legalize them and allow a pilot program similar to City Bike. I talked to the council member about his proposal and he said this is just another way for commuters to get to another subway line. What we really want to start dealing with is the, what we consider the half mile problem. Uh, folks that live closer to the L train, for example, that is going to be shut down for the next year and a half, um, want to be able to get to the M line. Uh, and that's going to be 8, 10, 12 blocks in some cases. This would help with the three minute ride from the L train or people that are close to the L train. He also said it would not cost taxpayers anything. Joining me now is the executive director of Transportation Alternatives, Paul Steely White. Paul, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Hello, doing great, thanks. So I guess the good news is it only took them six years to get around to fixing the Sandy damage on the L train. The bad news is they're saying 15 months. We all know the way government work goes, probably be more like three years. But that aside, even if they're on schedule, why does this idea of electronic scooters, the electric scooters, how does that really and realistically help given the winter weather we have, et cetera? Or is this just, you're like, look, hey, we gotta try something. I mean, the electric scooters are very similar to bicycles or pedal assist bicycles that give you a little electric boost. They're not great for trips of, you know, three to five miles, but for one to two miles, they're kind of perfect. And they can really help people get to the alternative subway station. So if you're trying to get to the JMZ um, or some other line, um, a scooter is a great choice to do that. You know, you, you operate them in bike lanes, uh, no riding on the sidewalk. That's very important. We want to make sure we're protecting our pedestrians. But these e-scooters are working like magic in Los Angeles, um, San Diego, even in some colder cities. Agreed, they're not great when we have a, a heavy snow day or an ice day, but they're generally um, a great option for those one to two mile trips. Does it require a special lane? What we're trying to convince the city here in New York is, is to say, let these e-scooters use the same protected bike infrastructure that we have now throughout Manhattan and many neighborhoods around the boroughs. You can make streets safer with good design, and that's how you make it possible for people to take these low emission, affordable, you know, easy forms of small electric transportation. They're just like pro proliferating around the country. Paul, thank you. Appreciate the input. Thanks for joining me tonight. Well, yeah. All right, let's bring back our A-plus panel for tonight's show. We're joined by Republican strategist Allison Young and Democratic strategist Bill Caruso. Allison, I'll start with you. I like the idea, actually. I think, uh, to Paul's point, the infrastructure is kind of already there. Maybe the, the, the person that loses out is the guy on the city bike because you're going to have these, uh, you know, electric scooters whizzing by you. Well, there's got to be room for everyone, right? So with, I feel like transportation in the city is just evolving and evolving and evolving, right? And so when there's, uh, the subway has a ton of problems when there's deferred maintenance. It's just, it's, we're going to have to come up with alternatives. So why not this? As long as it's safe for pedestrians and safe for drivers, give it a shot. I looked at this as a Hail Mary pass. Like we have no plans, so scooters, right? I mean, we have a congestion problem in New York City and adding another form of transportation into the roadway would already congested with bikes. I think this is going to be more problems than we probably let on and thought about. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see.